In wars during the 19th century, troopers could feel safe by backing a couple of meters away from musket fire. The tactic worked just fine until the first snipers appeared in the 1900s. They were brilliant shooters who could only be noticed when a soldier died on a battlefield. They drove the enemy crazy with their spirit and unpredictability. Snipers instilled a sense of fear and coldness up against close quarters combat and turned well-known military tactics on their heads. By the 21st century, designers and artificers perfected sniper rifles. Today, such weapons can fight against a tank or a helicopter one-on-one. -on -one. I'm sure you can guess that size matters here. And not only here, size matters everywhere, especially in my favorite game. This is a tactical 6 vs 6 multiplayer game called War Robots, where you're running around as giant robots equipped with the biggest and powerful weapons of your choice. There is over 70 million players have already installed the game, and this is not surprising. When 3D graphics look amazing, constant content updates with new robots and maps, so you'll never bored of. Download War Robots via my link below and get the special bonus of a GI Patton robot and a unique skin for it. Four Punisher machine guns, 100 gold and 400,000 silver. If you watch the movie Shooter, you may remember the beginning scene where the main character, Bob, trying to avenge the death of his friend, sends a military helicopter straight to a cliff with a few shots. He can make that happen with the famous American self-loading rifle, Barrett M82. The Shooter scriptwriters didn't actually exaggerate the power of the rifle. The brainchild of a former law enforcement officer, Ronnie Barrett, the M82 was designed to tackle lightly armored units. It is effective against tanks and vehicles, as well as aircraft. Throughout the movie, Bob used Chevy TAC Intervention M200, which we will discuss later. However, he pursued different goals. Let's go back to the Barrett M82. All the rifles from this company were designed to be used with a 12.7 by 99 mm cartridge, previously used in the M2 Browning machine gun. The Barrett M82 range reaches 1800 meters, and its hip precision rate is up to 1.5 to 2 MOA. U.S. soldiers were equipped with these rifles in Kuwait and Iraq during Operation Desert Storm and Operation Desert Shield in the early 90s. However, their most famous operations were in the Nauftis and involved countering enemy infantry, despite the anti-material kind of rifle. In 2002, a Canadian corporal, Rob Furlong, made the longest shot during Operation Anaconda. He killed a Taliban fighter from a distance of 2,430 meters. Sergeant Steve Reichert completed the Barrett's impressive list of merits by eliminating three Iraqi rebels hiding behind a brick wall at once. The distance of the shot was 1,600 meters. The Barrett M82 is held in great respect in Tennessee. It is the official rifle of the state from 2016. Well, why not? It is quite a brutal symbol of the state. This model has become popular in movies and video games such as Call of Duty and Point Blank. Gamers are ready to risk all to get this weapon, as they can easily destroy everything around it, which is impossible to do with a regular sniper rifle. Filmmakers value it as well. Besides Shooter, the Barrett 82 was shown in Rambo 4 in the hands of the schoolboy and in Smoke and Aces, held by an assassin, Sharice Waters. In the latter movie, the FBI agents hit by the Barrett were unrealistically thrown several meters backwards, making somersaults in the air. It is the way the director wanted to portray the bullet's high kinetic energy. Just like the Barrett 82, the Austrian rifle, Steyr IWS 2000, was not originally intended to be used against humans. Using its power for this purpose is like using a steam hammer to crack nuts. Just consider that the manufacturer had designed the special subcaliber 207mm long cartridge Steyr APF SDS with 15.2mm caliber for this rifle. The shot muzzle energy reaches 36 kilojoules and the armor penetration is estimated at 42 millimeters. The technical characteristics of the Steyr allow the rifle to hit lightly armored and non-armored targets as well as vehicles and ammunition depots at a distance of up to 2,000 meters. Actually, this model should be called a sniper rifle, despite the apparent absurdity of such a definition. This is a smooth bore weapon, which means it should not be called a rifle even given the high accuracy and far distance it covers. 
However, the terminology details do not stop us from considering the Steyr IWS 2000 as one of the most powerful rifles in the world. Today, its advantages can be appreciated only by a few owners. It has not been introduced officially due to the cost of the ammunition required. People order the Steyr in small quantities. Even though the Austrian supplier, like any company who has some self-respect, does not disclose information about the buyers, there are rumors that the U.S. Army bought several IWS 2000 units, and they were even seen in combat. They say that everyone who works in the American weapons company Anzio Ironworks is crazy. It is quite a subjective statement, but there is one thing we can guarantee with. The guys created real monsters among their large caliber sniper rifles, just because they could. One of them is the Anzio Takedown Rifle. The length of this anti-material rifle's barrel is 1,200 millimeters, and its weight is more than 17 kilos. You cannot hide it in your pocket, that's for sure. But even a target three kilometers away from the shooter would have no chances. Anzio Takedown Rifle owners know what a quality shot is worth. This is a single-shot weapon that must be reloaded manually and can carry up to three bullets. You'd better reach the target on the first attempt, especially with the help of the innovative 20mm telescopic sight. With this rifle, you can even eliminate targets that were out of reach for previous models. Besides the 20 by 102 caliber shells, the Anzio takedown rifle works just fine with the Soviet 145 by 114 mm caliber cartridges. But it is good not only because it works with different ammo, it also has high muzzle velocity, up to 1 km per second, and the muzzle energy is 57.53 kilojoules with 101 grams weight. It is more than enough to fire both land and air targets. American gunsmiths aren't the only ones who like large caliber weapons. It's been 20 years since the South African Defense Forces have used the Meacham NTW-20 rifle produced by Aerotech, the brainchild of designer Anthony Neofito, an expert on anti-tank rifles. The rifle is intended to counter enemy snipers at long distances, destroy missile systems, satellite antennas of parked aircraft, sensing systems, and lightly armored vehicles. The Meacham NTW-20 is good for demining unexploded aerial bombs. A shooter puts out the fuse, making a sapper's life easier. The rifle kit includes two interchangeable barrels. The first is designed to fire 20 by 83.5 mm bullets. The muzzle energy is 29.03 kilojoules. The second one is to fire 14.5 by 114 mm bullets. It's been included to increase the shooting distance. You don't need to use any special tools to swap one barrel to another. It takes about a minute. Anthony Neofito knew that the rifle's power would cause a massive recoil shock after a shot. For this reason, he tried to reduce the impact on the sniper to the maximum by using extra shock absorbers and dampers. Even with such devices, a shooter needs a few seconds to recover. If you want to try this weapon, we recommend you carefully consider whether you're ready for it. Let's look at the ChevyTac M200 Intervention, the only weapon in our list that is not anti-material in its pure form. This rifle was designed to engage soft targets such as enemy infantry, and it is perfect for precise hits. Less than one MOA at a distance of more than 2,000 meters. Like many sniper rifles, the M200 is bolt action and needs to be reloaded manually. Such weapons are traditionally considered more accurate than automatic and semi-automatic rifles. The 408 Chevy Tac cartridge with a nominal caliber of 10 mm was designed specifically for this rifle, and its muzzle energy reaches 11,350 joules. The Chevy Tac M200 is much more practical than the previous monsters. It is two times lighter than, say, the Mehem, and allows the shooter to fire up to 20 rounds per minute. Truth be told, its price bites you. You will have to part with about $50,000 for one of the best products on the American weapons market. However, you can try it in real life, and those who love shooting can grab a Chevy Tac M200 to confront enemies in computer games such as Call of Duty and Crossfire. It also became the main weapon of vengeance for Bob in the aforementioned movie Shooter. Let me introduce a very exotic weapon, not adopted by any country today due to the high shock and possibility to harm the shooter after the first shot. The founder of SSK Industries, an American gunsmith Jones, 
developed a 24 by 75 caliber rifle cartridge, JDJ-950. According to the international classification, it should be considered a cartridge and the rifle specially designed for it as a handheld gun. Many believe this is the most powerful weapon in the world. It is very popular among private fans of large calibers and wealthy financiers of entertainment shooting. To put it mildly, it doesn't have the gentlest recoil. This rifle is very heavy, as its weight varies from 36 to 50 kilograms. Its dimensions can be seen on the video. As you can see, using it in shooting sports is not very appropriate. I'm not even talking about any military action. We'll have to wait and see what happens in that respect. The above rifles could be used to counter enemy snipers, helicopters, and lightly armored vehicles. But you could use the 14mm American SOP to hunt a Tyrannosaurus if dinosaurs still existed. Even if the caliber might not seem that impressive to you, the muzzle energy of this weapon is approximately 60 kilojoules, and the rifle range is 5 kilometers. Its bullets have high aspect ratio and weighs about 110 grams. However, the most surprising thing is, perhaps the declared accuracy of the weapon. Half an angular minute far away of about 2,700 meters. Initially, it was designed for sports super long-range shooting, and for obvious reasons, it still has no application in the army. However, we would not be surprised to see it in an action movie in a couple of years.